What's up, movie freaks? Today, I'm giving you my quick thoughts on the next three episodes of The Mandalorian. Now, if you haven't seen my first part, where we talk about the first three episodes of The Mandalorian, check that one out first. I'll link to it in the description. Episode 4 is directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. This episode is a little bit more cliché, tries to be cute a lot. It's also very Seven Samurai-esque, which has been done a ton. Now, Seven Samurai is a masterpiece of a film, but it's just been done, the story's been done so much at this point, and also you just can't really tell that story in a 40 minute time slot, so a lot of it is very rushed. I think that Gina Carano and Pedro Pascal have good chemistry, I really like them on screen together, and uh, also Gina Carano brings a, a new style of uh, combat to Star Wars with her MMA background. And those fights are, I think, are handled very well in this episode. But the more traditional style Star Wars battle in this episode is not handled quite so well. There's a couple of visual effect shots too, where the ATST just doesn't look that great. Um, overall, the episode is still enjoyable. It's just not handled quite so well. I'd give this episode a five out of ten. Episode 5 is directed by Dave Filoni. This episode feels like a bit of filler. Now it's handled well, it's enjoyable to watch. I don't really have a ton to say about this episode. Um, there's a cut that feels kind of silly when the Tusken Raiders show up. Um, but I do love some small details in it. Uh, there's a movement that you should pay attention for in the standoff sequence. So yeah, a bit of filler, but enjoyable filler. I give this episode a 6 out of 10. Episode 6 is directed by Rick Famuyiwa. This episode is also a bit of filler. It's still, for the most part, enjoyable. Uh, mostly the action is handled really well. The fight in the hallway is excellent. But the fight with the Deveronian, the music during it, is terrible. Uh, I really enjoy Bill Burr's character, but um, but Natalia Tana's character is just annoying and terrible. So once again, filler, but still enjoyable. I give this episode a 5 out of 10. So in conclusion, these three episodes are not as good as the first three. There's a lot of filler here. And, I mean, even though that I don't think they're as well made and I'm being a little more critical of them, I'm still enjoying it. You know, I see the flaws, but that doesn't mean I still am, don't have fun watching it. What did you think of uh, these three episodes? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, it'd also just be great if you liked, shared, and subscribed, because then, you know, I wouldn't have to put a bounty out on you, and that would just be easier on everybody. Avita <laughs> Zane.